A budget iPhone in three different colors gets leaked in photos. Moto X advertising focuses on giving you design options, and if it weren't enough, we do get a teaser for the Droid Ultra. I'm Jaime Rivera. Wondering why droids are so vulnerable these days? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some cool news as we've got some leaks of Android 4.3 and apparently it does bring a very revolutionary feature as it seems that the system will be able to listen to your notifications, play them back to you and also allow you to interact with the system to respond back to you, sort of like Google Now on steroids. Which is kind of interesting as you won't have to actually be activating anything according to the leaks, apparently the phone will talk to you and you'll talk back to it. Uh, creepy, but I do consider it awesome. Let's see what it ends up becoming if it ever leaves the oven. But hey, Android 4.3 does seem to be better than just the number. Now sadly, not everything today is good news as HTC has just confirmed that they will not be providing any more software updates for the HTC One S. And that is kind of funny since, first of all, this phone rocks the same specifications as the One X on AT&T. It's not even two years old, and HTC promised that this phone was going to be one of the devices that was getting HTC Sense 5. Um, really sorry for you guys that chose that phone. Now the budget iPhone is up next as we've got some leaked photographs of the device in three different colors, which is pink, yellow, and green. Not the most beautiful colors in the world, but still remember that Apple does a lot of prototyping and most likely these could be just test units of what the colors look like and we could probably eventually get different colors when the phone gets announced or released. So stay tuned for whatever happens as this budget iPhone does seem to be some serious business, even if it looks like the HTC first, which is actually not good. Verizon is up next as the company is officially teasing a Droid Ultra lineup and according to them we are getting glossy color options here but for those of you wondering which company is building these phones well they said DuPont Kevlar so that's Motorola and even though they don't specify any dates as to when we are getting them there's actually more interesting news regarding this phone so stay tuned for the next segment. And finally, for the hot news of the day, Motorola has finally sent out their first advertisements of the Moto X, and according to the company, one, this will be the first phone built fully in the United States, which is awesome news, and two, well, this will be the first phone that you'll actually be able to design on your own, which we're still trying to figure out because we also have that Droid Ultra advertisement, which teases a phone with a lot of color options and the Pont Kevlar, so that's not really designing a phone or tailoring it to my desires, but anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. If a company would allow you to design a specific portion of a phone or something that you would really want, what would be the number one feature that you would look for or that you would add to the design of your own phone? In my particular case, uh, phones today are about the display. I mean, that's the only way you can really interact with the phone. And for me, the quality of the display, the color accuracy is the number one feature. But leave us a comment down below. What would be your pick? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on Pocketnow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.